Hi, Rebecca. It's Pam. Um, I have a question for you. Um, how you, you talked about the difference between relevant experience and past performance. Um, how at this juncture, how do you think they're going to evaluate how well you performed on a contract? Sure. So the past performance is going to be based almost exclusively on CPARs, uh, or if there's no CPARs that are in existence, there's going to be a past performance questionnaire that you send to the government. So it's it's literally going to be ratings uh, that the government has given you on the contract, and that's how it's going to break out. Does that make sense? Thanks. That's really cool. Easy. Thanks. Yep. Okay. And we then, also have a question from... Uh, I see that we have a question from Alan Langerman. Do you see it, Rebecca? You know, I and, do. And so, so yeah. Read it here. If it is, if the project crosses multiple areas, you cannot re reuse on multiple areas. So, question for you. And that is correct. So, a project can only be used against one performance area, and you can't use your project. This is another really important point. So, I'm really glad you asked this question. Um, if you are considering teaming or being on multiple teams you can't use your project uh, and have it be represented on other contracts. So your, your contract, you have to think of it as being exclusive to that performance area. And so that's why I really want you to take a look at the projects now, because you might have a project that would potentially cover two performance areas, um, but you're going to have to pick one to align it to. So you know, being a little bit strategic about how you align your projects is going to be really important to make sure that you can cover as many sections as possible and score as many points as possible. And uh, we have another question from Madeline Larkin. Do you have to have a representative project in each NAIC code listed? Okay, so the short answer is no, but then you're not going to have points and it's going to be hard to be competitive with that. So the government's not going to, to say we're not going to look at proposals unless they cover every single performance area. But you should just know that the strongest competitors or the strongest offers on this are likely going to have a project in every area.